Welcome to the TC Trading Channel. Today, we're going to be going over a quick tutorial about how you can start trading futures with TradeStation on TradingView. Right now, we are looking at the Micro E-mini S&P 500 futures. What we want to do is walk you through step-by-step -step how you need to go about this, and then we'll show you guys some examples. We'll do some live trades. And at the same time, we want to cover a couple things that people don't talk about when it comes to these videos that you need to know in terms of fees and other things that you may or may not need to pay for on the back end, depending upon exactly what you're looking to do. All right, let's dive in. So here we are logged into TradingView. If you were to go to, for example, the home page, you would look at a page that looks like this. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a TradingView account first. We'll leave a link to that in the video description, like we always do. Once you have a TradingView account, you ask the question, hey, this is actually pretty cool. I actually like trading on this, or I like these charts. For example, let me pull up one of my charts, and I'll pull this up for you. Okay, great. The micro e mini S&P futures. I like these charts. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I want to do all my trading on this platform because maybe my broker isn't as user-friendly. It's not as nice. And the depth of market, essentially the price ladder, these might be super nice, super easy, super clean to use, or they might just fit your style better. Well, that's where you start to say, okay, can I connect my broker to TradingView? And you can for many brokers these days. First, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to open your account, go to a page like this, go to the bottom where it says trading panel, open the trading panel, and then go to the bottom right and expand or maximize that panel. Now there's a list. There's a lot of brokers and this list actually continues to grow as more brokers partner up with TradingView. So what's going to happen here is when you connect a broker, in this case, TradeStation to TradingView, which is their featured broker, actually, by the way, to if you connect the two, you're now going to essentially be able to execute orders on your charts here. TradingView is going to send that data back over to TradeStation. They're going to execute the order on their platform, right? So it's like that connection that you're going to have to have on TradeStation to TradingView. Now, before we take the next step, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Jigsaw Trading. Jigsaw Trading offers traders an edge in the markets through powerful and intuitive trading software. With advanced tools for order flow analysis, visualization, execution, and advanced analytics and trade journaling, Jigsaw Trading gives traders a real-time view of market activity and helps them make better informed trading decisions. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced trader, Jigsaw Trading has something to offer from their starter package to their professional package. Plus, their team of expert traders is always available to provide guidance and support. Take your trading to the next level with Jigsaw Trading. 14-day money-back guarantee. Try it today. Thanks for Jigsaw for sponsoring today's video. Now, with many brokers, there's actually fees to connect from TradeStation to TradingView, or let's say, for example, Tradeavate to TradingView, they have fees. These could change as many brokers will change their fees and pricing structure over time. We've seen a big switch to zero commissions. However, if you go to options, there's still going to be commissions. And as of right now, you're going to be able to trade for free zero commissions on stocks, ETFs. But as we get into futures, this is going to be where you're going to have to pay fees. So as of right now, zero commissions, but there's a fee per side of the trade. So for example, the micros, 50 cents per contract per side. So open and closing of that position. So just be aware of that. And again, this could relate to other platforms, but these this is the current fee and pricing structure that TradeStation offers. Now we'll need to sign up for an account over on TradeStation. So you go in, you'll log in or open your account. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in, but we don't need to log in on here. We're going to actually go over to TradingView and now we're going to find our broker TradeStation and connect it. Here's where we can connect either a live or a demo account. So you can have both. But again, if you're trading live, great live. If you're practicing, then go with demo. You can also trade on the trading views paper trading option, which is over right here. If I get out of this, we can log into an account here and just trade for, for free paper trading, just like a demo account, like you would on TradeStation, for example. So connect that and now log into your account after you have a TradeStation account opened and ready to go. Okay, great, I now minimize the panel. Once you do that, you're gonna see this little green dot, okay? That tells me that TradeStation account is connected. It's green, we are good to go. I can now trade on the platform TradingView, which we're looking at right now, through TradeStation, okay? So when I go to execute trades, it's going to use the green icon, the green little dot, whatever 
broker you have, whether that's paper trading, in this case, TradeStation or a different broker, it's going to now be pulling from that connection, okay? So now we're looking at a five minute chart and here is where I may want to add in or create an order and go ahead. Bunch of ways to go about it. There's many options. I could control click on my screen, go to where it says trade. I can buy or sell, create a new order there. Or I can go over to where it says order panel or DOM on the right hand side. That's another spot that I can go over and open those trading widgets on the TradingView platform to trade via TradeStation. But before we do that, I do want to make sure you are aware of a couple of things. You may or may not need to pay for real-time market data. Now, we're right now looking at TradeStation. We can see that the fee pricing structure is free, okay? However, that's not going to be the case on TradingView, okay? We go back to TradingView. I'm going to go back to my account, okay? We currently use the TradingView Pro Plus plan. We tried premium for what we need it for. Pro Plus is just fine. Maybe you want premium, maybe you want pro, maybe you want to pay or not pay and have a free account. You can you can do that. There's just some limiting factors and then you'll get some additional bonuses once you start paying the monthly fees or pay yearly. I highly recommend you pay yearly instead, way cheaper. Okay, go to the products page and now what you're going to want to do is go where it says market data. Click on market data. Now here you pull up this page. You can also scroll down and find it on that same page without hitting the, the drop down menu. This is what you're going to want to do because you're going to need to have real-time quotes. If you get it for free through your broker, great, but you're going to need to get it on TradingView. So it's kind of where you have to double down and in certain cases, you know, every broker is different, which is kind of a pain, but make sure you're aware of this if you're using a different broker or again, if you're going to use TradingView, you need to make sure you have real-time quotes. So for example, let's see, uh, you got the stock market bundle. You can start scrolling down and go to, or go to futures. They have a futures tab. Okay. So find the futures markets that you're going to want to trade. This is where you need to do your own research. Again, if you're looking to trade the U S you know, E minis, you know, the S and P E minis and whatnot, or for example, there's a futures section right here. You can go ahead and find that you can click on learn more and you can find a little bit more dive a little bit deeper into what they offer you. Make sure you subscribe to the correct futures products that you want real-time quotes for. They're going to give you more of a rundown in here. Once you've done so, once you have done that, now you're actually good to trade on TradingView. And again, they'll probably give you an error message anyway if you don't have them, but just make sure you're aware of that ahead of time. Okay, boom. Now I can go ahead and place orders. I have right now the order panel selected. I can also go to the depth of market. Let's say that I want to market buy. There's really just consolidation. Let's say I want to market buy. I think we're going to go higher. Okay, market buy. I can add and change the units as I see fit. Add, take profits and stops. You have ticks, price, uh, dollar, or percentages that you can adjust on this to essentially have these take profits and stops be entered immediately as you enter this trade. Uh, it's a one cancels the other order. So let's say I take a take pro or I have a take profit and stop loss that I enter the same exact time when I mark it by in. For example, now as I adjust, let's say one of these were to hit, it gives me, I can edit the settings on trading view by the way too, to change if it shows you the dollar amount, the numbers and stuff uh, of my orders. But when one hits, I will, it will automatically cancel the other. So for example, let's say I take the take profit and I bring it right to where we're at, give it a second, see if it'll fill. This, once it hits, will cancel out the stop loss. And so we're good to go. And again, that's kind of more so outside of this point of the video, but boom, it just filled and then they both got canceled off. So that's how it works. It's actually very straightforward. It's actually pretty easy. If you are a very short-term scalper, this probably isn't the best, most efficient way to go about it because there is like a hair of a second delay because trading view has got to take the order and then it's got to send it over to your broker and then it's going to actually fill you. So just make sure you're aware of that, which could offer potentially the lag when you are trading on the platform. So if you're looking at five minute charts or higher, probably not going to be a huge deal. Swing trading and whatnot, probably not a huge deal, but that's how you go about it other videos here on the channel if you want to learn more about the different aspects of TradingView and whatnot. But that's how you connect TradingView and TradeStation so you can trade futures all on TradingView's charts.